Today will be partly cloudy with a slight chance of sun. Unless, of course, a warm wind that ooh, oddly smells of pizza blows this cloud away. I told you it gets sunny. This is no ordinary picture. And these are no ordinary tabs. They look like they're decorations on a simple picture, but they're not just decorations. This one moves. Let's make one. Ah, I've got a blue sheet of paper. I'm going to take this piece of paper and with my ruler, draw a line. This line isn't going to go quite to the end of the paper. And I'll do another one on the other side of my ruler. This will be the track that my cloud moves along. I just need to cut each line. So I'll take my scissors, and very carefully I'll just cut across like this. There's one there. And now I have my track. But it will be hard for the cloud to slide along this, so I need to cut some more off. That looks about right. And then I'll do this side. Check this out. I made a cloud for my picture. All I did was take some paper, cut it into the shape of a cloud, then I took some cotton and glued it to the picture. Now I have to attach this to my picture and make it move. I take this piece of paper and wrap it around like this. That will be able to slide on my track. So to make this really work, I'll just take a little piece of tape and I'll tape right there. I put the tape on the outside because if this loop is taped to the track, well then it's not going to slide, it's going to stick. And I've also made the loop bigger than the track so that it can really slide. Now I have my cloud. I'll take another piece of tape, make a little loop in the back, there we go, and then stick it right to the tab. And now my cloud moves. Now I don't want this cloud to come flying off my paper in the end, so I'm just going to take a little piece of tape and tape the end of my track. And with that tape there, my cloud won't slide off the track. I don't want to have to grab it every time with my fingers. And that's where I thought, let's make a tab. Decoration? I think not. This is a working tab. We're going to disguise this stick with a piece of paper. So I have this long piece of paper here, and I'm going to place it right underneath my stick, just like that. And that's to make the stick look like a decoration. Now I'll attach this to my piece of paper with tape. And I'll just wrap it around. And then one other piece right here so that the stick isn't moving around. Now what I want to do is attach the cloud to the stick. We'll turn this picture over so that the cloud is on the back. And I have my loop that moves along the track right here. Well, I'll take this and I'll make sure that the paper is sticking out. And I'll just attach it to the loop. So I'll stick on my tape like this. That should do it. Watch. It moves. That doesn't look like much from back here, but if we flip it around like this, and then place Mr. Sun down right there, it's cloudy. Now it's sunny. And then cloudy again, but sunny again. Now check this out. I made one earlier. I'm going to tell you the secret to this picture. I've rigged other things in this picture to move in the same way. And I've color-coded these tabs. The blue tabs 
actually make them work. And the rest are just decoration. There's two other blue tabs in the picture. Do you see them? Oh, there's one right there. And when I move this one, it makes the tree do a little dance. It looks like the wind is blowing the tree. Can you see where I put the other blue tab? Here it is. And when the wind is really blowing, this happens. Hey! Oops. Sorry about that. I didn't know you were in the tub.